we talked about the, uh, the insulated concrete forms that you can screw the drywall straight through, but I also noticed there's something else. This rim joist is an area that's very often overlooked. It's not insulated or it's not insulated well. well people just shove fiberglass insulation right. in there. Can you talk a little bit about what you're doing here? Sure. The old school used to be where they would take fiberglass, put it up inside there, and <clears throat> the only problem with that is moisture will go right through the fiberglass and then it'll, it'll condensate or build up frost on the outside, especially in the wintertime when it's really cold. And so what eventually will happen is that moisture will come out of there and then you have mold growing. And so really the best way to, to take care of a rim area like that is to spray the foam, like a spray polyurethane foam. What that'll do is that'll create a vapor barrier and it'll keep any moisture from getting through that and then also give you the, the insulating value that you need in order to, to stay warm down in your basement. So really for a lot of existing homes, that's an easy way to go back in and, and uh, sp have that sprayed because most of them, well, s some basements are still open mm -hmm. and then you'd be able to call somebody to come in and, and actually have them f uh, foamed for you. And so that'd be a, a way to, to uh, warm up your basement. And air seal it and insulate it all in one right, shot. Right, in all one shot, yep. Mm -hmm.